Hi, Brooke here from Urban Scrapbooker, and today I wanted to talk to you about the Basket Weave Star Ornament die from Sizzix. It's brand new this year. It actually makes these really cool ornaments. You can use them as package decorations too. And once you get it all put together, it's pretty sturdy and it's got this really cool 3D aspect. So I'm going to actually show you how to put one together. In the package, you get two dies, which makes stars of two different sizes. So we're going to focus on the bigger one today because I think that'll be easier for you to see on camera. So let me grab the big shot and we are going to, I'm gonna, I've got my magnetic base here, put down my plate, red cardstock. This will just snap right into place because it's on the magnetic base and roll this through. Now for this um, ornament, you actually need to cut two of these. So I've already done some of the cutting. So this one here, let me get that out of the way. We'll just pop right out, just like that. And then you'll grab your die pick, pop these little innards out, and then it's got these little spots here so that you can get it out. Then what I do just to make it easy is I just take my die pick and just put it right in that channel and run it down and that helps get that paper out of there really easy. Then you do one more side. This is a this is a nice um, nice cutting die so these the paper is in there pretty good. Okay. So then you just take that out and you will want to cut two of these. Now I have actually already cut some in a patterned paper so that as I do the gluing you'll be able to see how to actually put this together. Okay, so let me put those off to the side. Okay, so the paper that I chose, cut this one out of a, a two-sided paper so that it's easy. What you're going to want to do is grab your fine tip glue bottle from Urban Scrapbooker. This is a great bottle. It's got a really, really fine tip for doing detail work and it has a pin in the lid to help keep it from clogging. So we're going to take this and we're going to put glue on the back side just of one little end there. Now this is the trick. You're going to take it and you're going to turn so that you actually see the back side and you're going to turn this one and they're going to join just like that. And you're going to hold it for a second. And then what I do is because um, once you get used to this, it goes pretty fast. So while you're holding one, you can put glue on the other one. And then you're just going to take and you're going to move. And you're going to flip both back sides just like that. And you're going to hold that and turn it over. Put the glue here. Flip. And hold. Just like that, turn it over, and then the last one. So basically you're grabbing the ones that are at a 90 degree angle on, um, on the corners and those are the ones that you're joining. Okay, and then you're going to hold. Alright, so you're going to do this same thing to both pieces that you cut. Now I have another one already prepared so you don't have to watch me do it twice. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take these straight ones and you're going to put it through the loops on the other one. And you're going to do this all the way around the die. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Okay. This just gets it all lined up for the next step. Okay, so it looks kind of like that. Now what you're going to do is on these straight pieces, the side that is facing the loop is the side that's going to have glue. So you're going to put the glue right here and then you're going to take it and you're going to just match it right up with that corner. And while you're doing that one, you can do this one and you're going to just match it right up. So once you get going, this moves along pretty quick. 
You might get a little glue on your fingers, but that's okay. It all washes off. Okay. Just like that. And this glue bottle is perfect for it because it does not drench your project in liquid glue. It gives you just the right amount so that it will, and it'll grip really quickly. Okay, so we're almost done here. And then the last one. Okay, quick and easy. Now I'm gonna show you how to create that really cool rosette. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside for the moment. Put my uh, lid back on my glue bottle here. Okay, now grab the Big Shot. For this one, I'm gonna use Tim Holtz's rosette die. This is a, a really great standard die to have in your collection. So I'm gonna get my long plate, and you're gonna wanna move that way so you don't get hit by it. Just like this. We're gonna use really pretty gold paper for this one because it's festive and we love shiny. Put that down. Make sure we've got that on the plate. And then we're gonna roll this through. Okay. Alrighty, so when you cut this, this is actually going to cut out one medallion and it's going to cut this guy out, which is what's going to do the rosette. Now, a lot of people have trouble with this cracking when they go to fold it up. So what we're going to do is just grab any of the washi tape. It doesn't matter. It's going to be on the back side, so you won't really see it. You're going to take your washi tape. And you're just gonna, and I like to run it along the side that is gonna be towards the outside. So that's gonna be the scallop side. And you just, what this is gonna do is it's gonna give those little perforated lines a little bit of a reinforcement just to make them stronger so that they don't rip. Okay. So one thing I need to do actually really quick too is I need to cut one more medallion. So let me grab, and this one is gonna be on the back side. So whatever scrap of paper will be just fine, because it does not matter what the color is. Where did I put my dye? Okay, so that's just gonna go down right there. Ooh, things are going everywhere. Okay, let me just roll that through real quick. My medallion. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're just going to accordion fold this all the way to the end. Can you see that okay? And once you get in the groove, it goes pretty quick. You don't have to push really hard because you don't need, um, you don't need like really, really strong fold lines because it'll, it'll do what it's going to do regardless. So, just like that. Okay, so it'll look like that when you're done. Then you're just going to take it and it's gonna open up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna have one end that sticks up and one end that has kind of a fold at the end. So I grab my glue bottle. This is, and then this one that's just sticking up here, I'm gonna put a line of glue right there that's gonna be the piece that anchors our medallion. So that is just gonna tuck, basically it's gonna just tuck right in there, just like that, and you're gonna glue those two pieces together. And that's now creating a circle. Okay, just like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is grab, I just need, 
don't mind this. I just, this is a great nonstick mat, but it does not slide. So in order to do this next step, I actually need to have a little piece of paper here. Um, this book. I'm just gonna use my, um, my scissors mat. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is this rosette, when it goes down, what you want to do is you want to have the inside of the rosette facing upwards, okay? And you're going to put glue on this piece. This is going to be the bottom. So put a nice amount of glue so that it will hold. And you're going to put that inside the circle, just like that. And then you are going to pinch those together. And then all it's going to do is flatten right down like that, okay? And then you're going to take the other medallion and you're going to put glue on it. And you're going to put that right on the top. Center it just like that. Give it a second and, it'll, and then it will hold together if you put enough glue on it. If you didn't put enough glue on it, then it won't hold together. Okay, just like that. All right, so, get that out of the way. Then what we're gonna do is we are gonna grab these really cool peel-off stickers that say Merry Christmas. And I like these because the Merry and the Christmas are stuck together. So they are, they're really delicate, but they're very, very pretty. Grab your tweezers. And you're just going to position it just like that. Then you're going to grab your, your uh, star that we created earlier. And because it doesn't have a ton of surface area there, you want to make sure that you get enough glue on the back side so that it will hold. Okay, stick this on, and then I just reach to the back and hold, just like that. And there you have it. And if you want to hang this, if you want to put it on a package, it'll look really pretty. If you want to hang it, we have some of this really cool glitter ribbon. That's what I did with this one here. And there you go. Quick and easy package decoration or Christmas ornament. Thanks.